Unfortunately, the sun isn't shining to welcome these British brides to New Zealand, but all the same, it's a happy day for them. They've come to join their husbands whom they met and married in Britain. The husbands here to meet them know only too well the truth of the saying, Britain delivers the goods. At the clearing hospital, the babies in the party just sit up and ask for favours, and they get plenty. Older children seem to be finding things a little strange, so they stick close to mother. Flying officer Moller, Mrs. Moller and their twins all journeyed out together to make their home in Harborough. When only five months old, the twins went with their father to Buckingham Palace to see him receive the DFM. He won that for bravery in the air. For all these families, this is a day they'll remember well. For skiing enthusiasts, Ball Hut has always been popular. Every year they flocked up here for their winter sport. But nowadays only a handful of people wax their skis outside its door. A soldier from the Middle East, a schoolboy on his first mountain holiday. Those who are here find it as good as ever. There are still the same gentle slopes for learners. And the same willing hands to help you up. First time on, feet feel all skis, but experts show the skill that practice will bring. Then it's away on a good ski run. aspect of nursing, probably the children's ward has the strongest appeal for nurses. Forty or fifty children in one place can make a lot of noise, but generally speaking, these sick and convalescing children are remarkably good and respond quickly to sympathetic handling. Nursing has the great advantage of dealing with people rather than with typewriters or ledgers or lathes. It has its own rewards that make even the training period of three years interesting and satisfying. Not all sick children are confined to bed, and convalescents gather around the table at mealtime. Table manners are sometimes sacrificed for expediency but the main purpose of stowing away health-building food is achieved. The sister in charge of a children's ward has to know each of her patients well. Not only must she have considerable knowledge, but also great understanding, for hers is a large family. Sick children require more than medical care. They must be shown sympathy and affection and consideration. Diagnosis, an urgent case is found to require an immediate operation. Instructions go through to the children's theater and preparations are made. The nurse must scrub up, don sterile clothing and prepare the theater. Everything the doctors may need must be ready, sterile and checked over.
When the operation commences, the nurse has a vital part to play. Taking her place beside a woman surgeon, she anticipates her every requirement. She must be alert, sure, unperturbed. Theatre nursing is responsible work. People's lives may depend on efficiency in this job. Nurses are trained to be experts. However, there is much hospital work that is humdrum and every day. Work in the wards is sometimes tedious. There are times when a day is hours too short for all the work to be done. And then when a nurse has finished her spell of duty in the wards, she longs to get to her room and take her shoes off. At these times, she feels that nursing is hard work. Yes, I suppose it is hard work. Like most people, we get fed up at times. But very few girls give up nursing once they've started. Just now, we're working longer than we should, because there are not enough of us. Normally, we do an eight-hour day. But there are many compensations. Life in the nurse's home is really fun. We don't get a chance to think of ourselves, which is a good thing these days. When a nurse is trained, she has unusual opportunities to travel. The pay is better than most people think. I'm not sorry I took up nursing. It's a good job, and I like it.